there's a way to make an entrance. My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I cannot stand my bathroom. This bathroom needs some contemporary style and functionality, but there's just one problem. I'm not a big fan of a bathtub in the bathroom. That seems very strange to me. We never take baths. There are worse things that can happen to a woman than be forced into having a bathtub. Get over it, Luana. Want to love your bathroom and your bath? We're going to show you how, right now. Great design comes from a winning formula. Mine is as basic as a set of building blocks. Put them together, add up the results, and you've got a sensational room. Does your home contain a room that time forgot? My bathroom is such a throwback to the 80s. How much of a throwback is it? Every time I walk in there, I feel like teasing my hair and putting on shoulder pads. It's like coming out of a time capsule, and I, I can't handle it. And getting rid of an 80s infestation is no laughing matter. Maybe a little bit of laughter is okay. How do you know it's time to renovate? Well, when your wallpaper border starts pulling itself off the wall, there's a sure sign. There's pipes coming out of the floor. Just some pipes. There used to be a bidet, or at least there's a rough in for a bidet. I don't understand the whole bidet. Who's got time for a bidet? If I have to go to the bathroom, I gotta get in, I gotta get out. I don't have time for like another sort of half shower. Uh, you know, all I'm gonna say is, in all the time we've been working together, you and I have never installed a bidet. Because Can we just there. say, enough said? Nothing in that bathroom is up to code. Did the last people who renovate not think that that would be noticeable, that there would just be a random electrical wire hanging through the wall? Why would anyone ever want a two-tone, black, spray-finished tub? I have never seen that treatment done to a bathtub before. There isn't a thing worth saving in here. Every element of that bathroom needs to be demolished. I think we've got a good amount of overall space. I think we've got a skylight to let in some natural light. And, um... This is a gut job. This is a gut job. We need a good contractor, like, today. Yep. That is just one of the craziest looking bathrooms I've ever seen intact. Some decades are clearly better than others. I think that we really need to look at completely reimagining the floor plan. This bathroom is lacking character. Right now, there are no natural elements in the room. It's green. It is cheap ceramic tile. It's a lot of green. It's all dark color. Too much green. There is no texture, there is no softness, and I think that's what we need. Well, where better to go au natural than in the bathroom? Okay, then. Our brief for this bathroom is to rethink the floor plan, add some natural elements to give the space character, and modernize the room, but still give it timeless style. But first, we're gonna make it a whole lot less green. so much better. I love the demo phase, it's my favorite phase because all of that ugliness is now gone and we can now go and start actually planning the space. Big shower here. Huge. Big, four by six feet. Big. Love it? You Love it. Makes sense to keep the vanity exactly where it was. Mm -hmm. We can do our bathtub over here. Yes, that's where the shower what about was. this crazy little condition? What was there before? There was a little linen closet here. Right now, the wall behind the tub has a jog in it, but we're also going to have to hide the plumbing stack. Do we fur out the wall to make it smooth all the way in behind? Or do... That's Lindsay. She's in the other room. She just sneezed. She doesn't know how to sneeze quietly. It happens very loudly. Do you need a tissue out there, honey? OK. Enough sneezing. Back to the bathroom. We're going to put a smaller water closet here so we could take our little jog in the wall and turn it into a nook. Or is it a niche? Niche? A niche and a nook is a nush. Is a nush, OK. We have a nush. You'd have about 12 inches. That's a decent So it's not, it's not really deep, but it is deep enough that you could fold towels. Or you could do bookshelves. <laughs> there is a practical idea, bookshelves. How about open shelves? And we can let the clients decide whether it's books or towels. But if we did an open shelf unit in that nush, yes. then we could still clad the remaining portion of the wall in tile and get our sort of texture from that. 
The good news is we have a layout, and we're not going to break the bank moving plumbing. We're just flipping the locations of the bath and the shower. Now, if we can just figure out a color scheme. No green. <laughs> so where do you start when it comes to a bathroom? First step, select your stone, and then draw out all of the variation of colors that you find. I think starting with your stone palette is similar to starting with a fabric. Nobody can create a color palette better than nature. Are you feeling the beige and brown? No. Not feeling the beige and brown. I like this a lot. The waterfall. Oh, yes. What if you use that as flooring, as like stripes? I love it as stripes. That's pretty. Those are swirls and whoopsie doodles. But it looks really kind of Mediterranean. I'm feeling very drawn to the whole range of Moonstone. Okay. I mean, I know it's not bold color, but I'm not feeling that this is black and white. No. I'm liking the idea of going gray on the floor if we can do something to brighten it up. What if I get my strips and put them with your Moonstone? How about we mix in the masculine with the feminine? I'm not saying no, but I'm more hesitant in the sense that this seems very laser cut and very rigid, mm -hmm. and this feels a little bit more artisanal. Oh, honey, ain't you never heard that more is more? I know that more, nobody knows that more than me. I'm just saying, is this more good than this more? We shall see. That's it, we're out on more is more. No, we shall see. We shall That's see. what we're out on. Okay. We're out on we shall see, okay? <laughs> This bathroom is being touched for the very first time since the 80s. Some decades are clearly better than others. We're starting with a sensible floor plan and natural stone. Nobody can create a color palette better than nature. Next, the hunt begins for all the right fixtures. What do you think of this tub? It's very nice, very nice. Turns out there's one little problem. I'm not a big fan of a bathtub in the bathroom. Uh-huh. The 80s were an era of big hair, big shoulders, and big bathtubs. There isn't a thing worth saving in here. But this bathroom is getting an update. All of that ugliness is now gone. Step one, create an efficient floor plan. It makes perfect sense to me. Step two, add natural stone. I like this mosaic. Love that. You like it? Love it. See, you're a girl, I'm a girl. Tommy is not really into this. No, we shall see. <laughs> but Tommy doesn't know my plan for the shower. We're starting with inexpensive white ceramic tiles. What if you did the walls? So you just have the 6 by 24, lay it well, that just in a grid, wrap the 6 by 24s around the side again, and use this mosaic just Very cool. in the center. So it sort of becomes almost like a piece of artwork. Oh, could yeah. we then take wall-mounted rain heads from either side? You're so you're kind of bringing like a rain shower coming down from either side, yeah. the water flowing. That bird? Yeah. I'm liking it. We would really love a two-person shower with, you know, state-of-the-art shower heads. Oh. Shower heads. What do I need to know? Back in the day, we would go with more of the trickling effect, whereas okay. nowadays people like to maximize their pressure. And okay. they go with these ones here that are with the air injection technology. Whoa. That is designed for a woman in a hurry, because it's taking me three times longer to get all the soap out here exactly. than it is here. I'm yeah. liking that. What about a hand shower? With a hand shower, I would go with something like this. Let's say you don't want to have, oh, sorry. You don't want to have a rain head coming from the ceiling. You want to have a quick, I already showered, just, body, just a quick body shower. So you yeah. have this, which again, very good water flow. Okay, I think we want air injected. I think we want good pressure. We want, wake me up, not yeah. I'm standing oh, yeah. in the rain. Yeah. Totally. High performance air injection it is. You That's do know that you talk about shower heads like they're cars, right? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you got the uh, air injection. Air injection. Performance. <laughs> okay. Luann is going to love the shower heads, Done. but she may rain on the rest of our parade. It seems that our client doesn't actually want a bathtub in the new configuration, which doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. We really are not tub people. A beautiful freestanding tub is key to having a total finished, polished look. So you know what? Tub stays. That's beautiful. That's nice. What do you think of this tub? It's very nice, very nice. Oh, wow. It says flowers in the outside of it. Mm-hmm. If he says mm-hmm, that means he doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's like a big tongue. Uh-huh. Very contemporary. Beautiful. I love that. I like this one. 
Oh, yeah, of course you'd like that one. That's $9,500. What? If we were to buy this tub, we could just have a plywood floor and a tub. It would be very minimalist. Mm-hmm. I think we've got two options. We've got the slightly tapered one. Yep. Or we can go with a giant block. Both of those are the same price. Do you have a preference? I do. I actually think that the curves on the first one are a little bit more palatable. It feels like it has more room around it. Yes, exactly. So it has a smaller footprint, but it flares up to something that's comfortable. Okay, fine. Done. I like it. Decided. And that's not the only thing done. Back at the house, the bathroom is framed and ready for drywall. We've got the shower done, just roughed in. We've got to put the faucets in on both walls. We're waiting for the faucets to come in. And uh, we're working on the niche here. Nush. nush. Say it with me. OK, nush. nush. Yes. Nush. How, now how wide is the nush? <laughs> Our nush is only going on the top half of the wall because the bottom half is being covered by the tub. Now, about that tub. A tub. She didn't want a tub. We never take baths. You will never use a bathtub if it's as hideous as what they had. There are worse things that can happen to a woman than be forced into having a bathtub. Get over it, Luana. OK. And Luana may have to get over it a whole lot sooner because we're having trouble with the shower. It's almost quarter to six. The tiling is starting tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And we have a problem. I tell you, it never rains. Our plan here is we've got two rain showers. This means we need two thermostatic valves that go behind the tile in the wall. This allows each person who's using each rain head to control their own temperature. We are missing the thermostatic valve for this side, which is why the concrete board is not on. And this is a total drag because it's gonna take about a week to get another one to come from Italy. Every time you have one tiny delay, it's a domino effect. Now we've just got to figure out how to stop the dominoes. We're giving an 80s bathroom some modern love. I want something that's contemporary and timeless. But it's not all sweet dreams. We have a problem. I wish it would rain down. We are missing the thermostatic valve for this side. And then there's the tub. I know Luana didn't want a bathtub, but it looks like that tub will change her mind. I think I'm actually warming up to the idea of a tub. Why do I want this bathtub installed? Because I think you need it for resale. Nine out of 10 women like to have a good soak. Men too. I might pop in there once in a while. Who knows, they might even want to get in it together. Okay, fine, if I have to have a tub, I'll have that tub. Well, there's one problem solved. As for the missing valve, we're going ahead and tiling everywhere else. Then we can measure for the shower doors, which will take about two weeks to get. Then what we will do is we will wait. And next week, whenever this thing finally comes, we will install just this wall and then we can move forward. I think Aldo would actually like that tile because it's gonna remind him of our Mediterranean roots. I really, really like the tile. Instead of being Mediterranean, when I'm all done, this mosaic's just gonna look glamorous. Wait for it. And something else that's gonna look glamorous is a custom vanity. Vanities are generally 32 to 36 inches high. Great height for a sink, not so great for storage. But when you go custom, who says the whole vanity has to be one height? High storage, low sink, form, and function. We bring you to the back of my car to pick a veneer. Any veneer. It's kind of like playing cards in New York City, right? It can't be any veneer. It actually has to be something, I think, quite light. OK, how about bamboo? No, I don't like bamboo. You don't like that kind of stripey texture? It looks cheap. How about sort of this platinum gray stain? It's a bit busy. Like, it looks like dinosaur skin. Dinosaur skin. That's nice. This is bird's eye. That's the lightness I'm looking for. See, I think a darker brown is out of context. I do too. I think it'll look out of place in the room. So there we go. We'll agree on bird's eye. Is that bird's eye? That's bird's eye. No, that's figured maple. <laughs> was that a trick question? <laughs> I was just seeing if you were paying attention. So we're going with bird's eye on the doors and white gables for a two-tone effect that keeps everything light and bright. And Lindsay is looking for the perfect hardware. Looks like my wedding ring. That's not it. That's definitely not it. What about bathroom lighting? Tony, are these fixtures available? Yeah. How much are they? They're 1100 for the pair. They're Matsega Italian, 1960s. They're really nice. They are. Sorry, you said 800 the pair? I said 1100, but for you, I'm sure we'll work something out. 
So those are authentic vintage merino. Yeah, yeah, mid-century. For six fifty, the pair. Mm hmm. Or <laughs> five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Look at what I have got. What have you got? It's a big box full of dirty paper. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys go in here. Oh my goodness. Both vintage, both Italian. Were you being clever? What? Our clients are Italian. I know. And they're vintage. One of them is. Sorry, Aldo. <laughs> my pair that I'm holding yeah. is $500 for the pair. The one that you have in your hand, which has two lights, it's double the electricity, which we kind of need, is more expensive. That's 900 the pair. Right? Twice the bulb, and it's got this oval motif. Like, doesn't this look like it's our mosaic? I mean, it's kind of a tough choice, right? Twice the amount of light, twice the money. Okay, here's a question for you. Which one do you like? Forget, forget the price. I like the one you're holding best. Yes, yeah, so do I. So let's get it. Now, if you've got the space for it, a chair can be a luxurious touch in a bathroom. Just got an email from Sarah about this accent chair in the bathroom. She wants something tall, angular, and modern. I think I just got really, really lucky. That's exactly what I was thinking. I did say caned, I think, and this is upholstered. Are you two putting just me kidding. on? <laughs> you can't have it all, sister. OK, well, then what do we use for upholstery? How about any of these? Love that. What do you think? And now that I know that Lindsay is so good at finding whatever I can conjure up in my brain, just wait for the next thing I ask for. The good news? The chair is going to look great. And so is the brand new custom vanity. The bad news? The shower is still missing a few key pieces. Here's a question. Do we have the handles? I yeah. got you a temporary Why would handle because Mr. Italiano was still making them this morning, and they might not be arriving in time. They're making these, like, piece by piece? What is this, basket weaving? Okay, I, okay. so what I need to know is, this is so crazy. If worse comes to worse, just get, like, a piece of something that sticks out with a hole in it, stick a twig through it, and we can turn them. The thermostatic valve is not allowed to be in Italy when you're doing a bathroom in Canada. We're bringing an entire bathroom into the next century. I can't believe this is the same bathroom. Unfortunately, our plumbing supplier can't get us a simple valve. It was a cluster We can't say that, Tommy. It was a total We can't say that either. We need to have an agreement that we're just not going to talk about that anymore until it's here. That's better. I literally just picked up this thermostatic valve control. Thermostatic valve control, this hunk of metal that we've been waiting to get for weeks. And now we can finish the bathroom. Does that seem like the right placement to you? That seems quite nice to me. Gotta go back and see what we started with to truly appreciate where we've ended up. Talk about night and day. We've come a long way. Absolutely gorgeous. They hit the nail on the head. What you want to focus on when you're laying out a bathroom is making sure that each component has only the space it needs so that it's not stealing too much from another area. We made the water closet a little bit smaller to allow us more space for our shower. And now we've got the best of both worlds. We didn't have to eliminate the water closet and we got our gigantic shower. I learned a little from our thermostatic valve experience. I'm feeling a bit frustrated right now. You can't just keep people out of their bathroom until some guy in Italy decides he's going to get off his duff and go and make you a thermostatic valve. If you're on a tight timeline, make sure you have everything you need at the start of the project. Don't be waiting for something to ship. My favorite part of the bathroom, I think, is the stonework. You've often seen mosaic used as an entire wall, but who says you have to have an entire wall? It is a strip of mosaic that is beautifully contained by those wonderful strips of Carrera marble. Now that it's done, we have something that is a very contemporary statement as opposed to something that feels very Mediterranean. It's the curvilinear form of the mosaic that creates a feeling of movement and I think a watery reference. I feel like I'm at a spa. When you take inspiration from a stormy sea or a cloudy sky, Always make sure that you contrast with large doses of bright, crisp white, and it will always feel 
light and airy at the same time. That vanity is something a little different. It's a lighter wood than we would normally go with. It's a different shape, but it really, really works in the context of this sort of spa-like hotel environment. There's often very little that's soft and textural in a bathroom. That's where a wood vanity comes in. By using a decorative wood veneer, it has pattern, it has movement, and it helps to introduce a softer feel to the bathroom. I think I may be potentially a reformed bath taker now. I'm seriously happy that the tub is in the bathroom now. It makes the bathroom, makes it complete. I think it's really important to sort of look at what the needs are of the people who are going to be using the space, but not take those needs to the nth degree, to the point where for resale, you're eliminating very, very important critical elements like a bathtub. Little fabric, little sparkle, little artwork, some accessories, and some art glass. And you know what? We can call this room done. Mission accomplished. I would say we did really accomplish the goals that we set out for ourselves. But I will also say that given how ugly that bathroom was in the beginning, Luana was not gonna be too tough to impress. This is my signature mix of tile and stone, of mosaic and ceramic that all comes together to create my take on contemporary. It may not be everyone's, but I don't think you have to have just one single element. I think more is more. You know what I'm really happy that they left, though? What? During the demo phase? What? They left that weird little wire that's still coming out of there. <laughs> we, we're going to keep that. <laughs> Why is that still there? Can I ask? Make it go away. Why is it still there? I don't know. So but... now you can still stand in the tub with the water and still electrocute yourself the way on. that you 